Mary Ann Bonetti, and today I'm going to show you how to pot up one of the coolest plants and how to measure out fertilizer the proper way. So this plant I found at a nursery. It is the Southern Bell Angel's Trumpet. It has these fantastic double flowering blooms. This flower has already faded, but it, it was very cool. But look at all these beautiful, huge purple buds uh, coming. And I'm going to put it with this really striking Persian shield with purple foliage. That will be awesome together. And then purple and silver hanging from the sides of the pot with this Silver Falls Dichondra. So I'm going to get ready to pot this up. And I'm pretty picky about the kind of container I'm using. I'm using kind of a lightweight pot, even though it's kind of weather-worn, because I want this expensive plant to come back next year. So at the end of the summer, I'm going to move the pot and all into the garage, where it's not freezing but very cold. And as long as it doesn't get freezing, it can be fine all winter sitting in a garage or a garden shed. Very little sunlight, very little water. But first, to enjoy it all summer, it loves fertilizer. So. It's, when people ask me how much fertilizer, the answer is always, no matter what brand you use, read the amount recommended, and more is not necessarily better. The good thing about using Osmocote Slow Release is even if you do use too much fertilizer, you're not going to burn the plant. It's very, very forgiving as far as the amount to use. So here's the other for beginning gardeners. This is confusing. It'll say one capful of fertilizer for a two-gallon pot. Well, what the heck's a two-gallon pot? This happens to be a two-gallon pot, which is what a lot of uh, shrubs are sold in. This size here is a one-gallon pot. So you're going to use half of a capful uh, for a, a pot this size, and an entire capful for the two-gallon pot, which is twice as big. And then sometimes you get the nursery industry has even bigger pots, five-gallon pots, ten-gallon pots. So you got to figure out what size your pot is by comparing it to the standard one gallon pot. So I've got a two gallon pot. I know that I'm going to use one capful. So what I'm going to do to get one capful, I'm going to go ahead and flip off this entire plastic lid like this. Now I know that an entire capful is three tablespoons. So I've got a capful here and now I'm going to go ahead and move this plant aside so you can see. Here's my container that I'm going to plant the datura, the angel's trumpet in. I'm going to sprinkle this all around the soil. And then I'm just going to mix it into the top one inch of soil. The reason I don't go all the way down deep is because the fertilizer is released as it heats up, as the plants grow more. So that's the beauty of slow release. As the plants need more, more fertilizer is released when it hits the moist soil that becomes warmer and warmer as the plants grow faster and faster. So I'm going to replace the cap. Now if I was just going to be, I'd already planted some annuals, maybe I have petunias in a pot, I would simply use the shaker and shake it out into the soil all around each plant. And remember, it's pretty forgiving. If I use too much in here, that's okay. Uh, it's not going to burn the plants. So now that I have the fertilizer in, I'm going to take this spectacular plant. I want to keep the tag. It's going to remind me not only the name, but also when I go to overwinter, put that right there. And I have two tags, actually. And now to get this out, this is a breakable plant. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to hold on to the stem, turn the whole plant upside down, and it slides right out. Now, those roots are not very matted, therefore I'm not going to worry about disturbing them. Instead, I want to get this out. I want this to be growing at the same level that it was in the pot. So it's way sitting up high. So what that means is I'm going to have to dig down, and I'm not going to disturb the roots too much, but I'm going to dig down so that I have a hole so I can just slide this right in. So, now remember I'm using this wheelbarrow. It makes a nice little planting bench to keep everything neat and tidy. 
Okay, so now I have, I want this down a good inch. I don't want it all the way to the very tippy top because when I water in the summer, I want room for all the water to go. And now, remember the fertilizer is all mixed in. It's all ready for the top one inch of soil. I'll just fill in all the way around here and determine where I want to add the front of the pot is where I'm going to have this Persian shield, which is also a tropical plant, which means it's going to like a nice, sunny, warm spot. But it, it likes protection from really hot afternoon sun, but it likes warmth. So I would never plant this out early uh, in the spring. I wait until the temperature is about like 55 degrees at night. That's going to go right in the front like that. And then the silver falls dichondra. This can be a ground cover, but it also cascades. So I'm going to just let it cascade over, watch this, pull this apart. It's a ground cover. It doesn't matter that I pull it apart. Put one in this corner over here. I think I'm going to move this over to the middle. One in this corner over here. And I will probably be having this against a wall. So I'm just going to put the flowers in the front and firm everything in. The soil is pretty moist. And then, remember I was showing you how I use a wheelbarrow as a potting table. It's easy to get in here, clean up, spilled soil, firm it in, and there I have it. This is going to be purple splendor. It's going to be uh, uh, taller. This is going to grow taller. These are going to cascade over the edge. A wonderful focal point all summer long on my uh, summer patio. So this is the double flowered purple angel's trumpet, Persian shield, and dichondra silver falls. And uh, I'm looking forward to summer. It's been Mary Ann Benetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.